This is the topic for AS level for the transformation of the functions, where we will find the real and the image, and due to these properties, which will be explained later on, that all the figures are being changed into their shapes. Since transformation is basically the change of the figure from one place to the other, so in this. We know that the DM is going to be transferred to image. So this means that if real is x y, image of this one would be x dash and y dash as p dash here. Now we are going to. Describe the different cases for this part. Y equal to f of x is the general graph for every function there. And we are now discussing this property that y equal to a f of x, where a is the constant number and f of x is the function there. So a is going to be multiplied outside the function a there. If we have to write down in the mathematical form for this function, then if p is x, y is the real coordinate, then it will be changed to this form as x and a, y there. This means that x coordinate is going to be retaining its position same whereas y coordinate is going to be changed with the multiple of a there. So it is basically x, y will be changed to this point p dash x and a y there. Suppose p is 1, 2, where a is equal to 2, then p dash will be equal to 1 and 4. If a is equal to 1 by 2, then the point 1, 2 will be changed to this as 1 and 1. And if a is equal to minus 1, then the point 1, 2 is going to be changed in the form of 1 and minus 2. So these are the three different cases which we are going to elaborate it here. So it means here y values are doubled. Here y value is again the double of this 2 into 1 by 2 is equal to 1 and here a is equal to minus 1. That is what a is minus 1 into 2 is minus 2. So it is basically, if we now draw it with the different figures, we see that it is basically, in other words, is known as we call stretching about y axis because y values are changed and they are doubled on half or whatever is the value of a is there. So it is basically the stretching of this p x y coordinate with the a value and that is stretching about y axis there. Suppose that we do it with the example there y is equal to f of x and let's say that is equal to x squared. If we draw the graph of this, this is y is equal to x squared. Now, if they ask, then draw the graph of twice of f of x. We have seen it here that the values of x remain same, whereas y value is going to be changed with the coordinate a y there. That means that every value of y in this case will be doubled of the previous value for the x here. So if it is 0, 0, it will remain 0, 0. But it is 1 here, which is 1 here, y value. So y value is now 2 f of x, so it will become 2 there. So, one value is 
we come to for the function of value of y here. If it is 2 here, which is equal to 4, now twice of that 4 value is 8, so it will become 8 here. So same is with minus 1. So for minus 1 value is 1 there, which will be now equal to 2 there. And for minus 2, it is 4 there, which will become 8 there. And if we draw the graph between these values, so this is the graph of y equal to 2x squared here. Because this is 2 and x squared, f of x is x squared. So it is a graph of 2x squared here. So you have seen it is basically the sketching of over y axis. So now we can get the value of a equal to half. Half of f of x, that means what? Half of x squared. So, if this is the graph of y equal to x squared, which is f of x, then this is the graph of y equal to half x squared. Again, it is the stretching due to x axis or the y axis here. So basically, this is the way that we are going to reflect it from this part here. Let's say y equal to minus f of x. If this one is the graph of y is equal to x squared, which is the f of x, then if we want to draw the graph of this, it is y equal to minus x squared. That means it is basically the reflection about x axis here. So these are the three different cases which we are going to use for this property that a f of x, that means x value is the point of the real, then the coordinates of the image there will be x and a y there. Now, y is equal to f of a x. So according to the topic of transformation, it will be written like this that if the point P is x, y with the a vector there, the point image will become x over a and y. So you have seen in this case that the y coordinate is remaining same, whereas x coordinate is half of that value, sorry, 1 over a of that value of x there. Suppose we have a point 1, 1, then the image of this point will be if a is equal to, let's say 2, then the point 1, 1 will become 1 over 2 at 1. Or uh, if the point is 4 at 2 there, the point will become as 2 at 1. To the if a is equal to half, then the point 1, 1 will become in the image there as 2, 1 over 1 over 2 and 1, which will be 2 and 1 there. If the point is 2 and 4 there, the point of image will be 2 divided by 1 by 2 and 4. So that thing will become point 4 and 4 there. If the point P is there, 3 and 6, 
then the point of image will be 3 divided by half and 6, which will be equal to 6 and 6 there. So you have seen it here that values of y are being changed and the values of x are retaining same values. Or x is the double of that value in this case here for k is equal to half. And if a is equal to 2, then it is the half of that value here. It is 1, it is going to be half. If it is 4, it is going to be 2 there. So it is basically this property is used for the topic of transformation for this y is equal to f of ax is the stretching about x axis there. So this is the way that we are going to find it out in the solution of this problem that whenever y is equal to f of ax then x will be changed in the form of x over a and y is getting its position here. Now, let's do it with the example that y is equal to f of x is equal to x squared in the original graph. So this is the graph of y is equal to x squared for 0, 0, for it is 1, it is 1 at this position. For 2, it is 4. For minus 2, it is also 4. For 3, this, let's say that is 9. And for minus 3, it is also 9 here. So this is the graph of y is equal to f of x there. Now we have to draw the graph of y is equal to f of 2x, where a value is equal to 2 there. So from this graph, you can explain it by this method. It is the point which will be is 0, 0. Now the point P dash will become 0, 0 here. So this point is 0, 0 here. If your point is 1 and 1, because this point is 1 and 1 there, now for the image of this point is half and 1 because a is equal to 2. So you 1 divided by 2 is there 1 over 2 and 1. So at this point half it is going to be same as 1 there. For this point 2 and 4 the image of this point will become 2, half is 1 and that is 4. So it is going to be, for this value of 1, it is going to be 4 here. Then for 3 and 9, this value will become 3 by 2 and 9. So this is the graph for the right side of this question here. Same for P minus 1 and 1 will become P as minus 1 2 and 1. This is minus 1 by 2. We write it as equal to 1. For P of minus 2 and 4, the point of finish will be minus 1 and 4. For the point P is there as equal to minus 3 and 9, which point will be minus 3 by 2 and 9. So we have seen it that it is the stretching of x axis there because x value is half of that value which is a is 2 and y value is remaining same there. So it is basically a schedule about x axis for the graph whenever 
which change in the form of y is equal to f of ax there. Let's solve another example here. y is equal to f of x and that is equal to square root of x. We know that the graph of this function is basically equal to this for 0, 0 to 0, for 1 it is equal to the 1, for 4 it is equal to the 2, for 9 it is equal to the 3. Now we have to draw the graph of this property that y is equal to f of half x. Now you have seen it there that a is equal to half of this value. So our point p, if it is 0, 0, then the point p dash will become 0, 0 here. So that point is retaining its position here. Then other point 1 and 1, the point p dash will be equal to because it is half of that value there. So that value is 1 over 1 by 2 and 1, which will become equal to 2 and 1 there. So if it is, let's say this position is 2 there, then it is going to be equal to 1 at this point. If P is equal to 2 and 4, 2 and 4 is x coordinate and the value of that one is 2, then the P dash will be equal to 4 over half and 2. So that means P dash will be equal to 8 and 2 there. So if P value is 3 and 9 for the original graph, 9 and 3, then P dash will be equal to 9 over 1 over 2 and 3. So that thing is equal to 18 and 3 there. So it should be, let's say here is 18, there is 3 here. So the graph of this will be like this. So it is basically the stretching due to x axis with respect to the factor. A is equal to half of that value. So this is the transformation topic, which is the first two parts we have done it there. Y equal to a f of x and y equal to f of ax. And now we will do the other parts in the second video of this topic for the transformation of this function into these properties. by using the properties of stretching one due to the x-axis and one due to the y-axis with respect to the property of a f of x and f of ax.